Hi there, welcome back to the Scrummy Cooking Kitchen. So I am gonna make some Welsh rabbit now. I've um, made some bread, so Welsh rabbit is basically just posh cheese on toast. Um, this is not a traditional recipe, so a traditional Welsh rabbit would be like a, a cheesy white sauce made with beer and Worcester sauce. Uh, so it's kind of a sort of savory, spicy, um, cheesy sauce that you then spread on bread and then you put that under the grill. Um, but my version of Welsh rabbit is the one that I grew up learning how to make. This was the one that my granddad used to make and so this is my version of Welsh rabbit and it is, um, you know, essentially posh cheese on toast. So we are going to start, I'm going to go over to here, with, I've got um, 150 grams of cheddar cheese, mature cheddar cheese, that I have grated. So I'm going to start melting that now. So I'll just turn that on. Okay, to that I am going to add a teaspoon of English mustard powder. So there you go, that's what we've got teaspoon of that and it's about two tablespoons of HP sauce which is this you could use Worcester sauce if you wanted to um, but I prefer it with HP so one two let's get all that out And we're going to start mixing that in. So as it melts, the HP and the mustard will melt into the cheese. Let's just turn that up a little bit. The thing about this is you can make quite a bit of it and then you can keep it in the fridge for two or three days and then you've got it there if you just want to spread it on toast and pop it under the grill. I think if you're watching this and living uh, in America, I think we would call it a grill, you would call it a broiler, so same difference. You do need to keep moving it around because um, otherwise it will burn on the bottom of the pan um, and that does affect the flavour. So um, it's not something that you can just put it on and then leave it. Okay, so that's nicely melted. And I'm just gonna slightly move it off the heat for a second because what I'm gonna add to that is um, an egg. And as you can see, it's bubbling quite a lot. So if I add the egg and I don't get in there quick enough, then I'll end up with scrambled egg and I don't really want that. So I'm going to add the egg um, now and then I'm gonna mix it really really quickly and put it back on the heat. So in goes the egg, back on the heat and then mixing that egg and then we're gonna cook it through. It will start to thicken and that's when you know that it's actually done. Right, can you see that that is now quite thick? That is done. Okay, so that's now quite thick. Right, so I'm just going to slightly move that to one side and I'm going to bring in my two pieces of toast that I've just done on one side. So this is uh, my low carb bread that I made earlier. 
So about three and a half grams of carbs per slice on this. And I'm just gonna pop a bit of this mixture on the top of each. Now, the rest of this mixture I can put into a dish and put in the fridge. With this, I'm just gonna take it and I'm gonna spread it right to the edges. Now, the reason you wanna spread it right to the edges is that the bread is gonna to toast a lot quicker than the um, cheesy mixture is gonna brown. So if you don't get it right to the edge, you're gonna get charcoal toast around the edge. And um, the cheese won't be cooked. Okay, so let's get it right to the edge. And then this is gonna go back under the grill for a few minutes until it's brown and oh, bubbling. There we go. Let's just take that bit away. Okay, so it's going in the oven, under the grill. I'll see you in a minute. Okay, and here it is. So if I just show you that. There you go, to that camera there. This is my Welsh rabbit, and if I just take a little bit off, there you go. Hot. Mm. That is really, really tasty. The bread is yummy, the cheese is extra cheesy. It's really, really delicious, and this is going to be quite a filling lunch. So I hope you've enjoyed that, um, and it's given you a little bit of inspiration. I hope to see you next time. Please subscribe to my channel. Please hit the like button and the notification bell and all those other things that you do on YouTube. And um, I'll see you next time for the next recipe. All right, take care. Bye.